What is minimalism? Minimalism means intentionally living with only the things we truly require, items that serve our purpose. By removing the distraction of excess possessions so that we can focus more on what really matters. It is intentionality. It is distinguished by its clarity, purpose, and intentionality. Being a minimalist, at its core, means intentionally promoting the things we most value and removing everything that distracts us from them. It is a life that forces us to be intentional. As a result, it forces you to improve in almost every aspect of your life. Because no two people are the same, intentionality looks different for everyone, but it requires each of us to go deeper and become more introspective about our values and passions. It is freedom from the passion to possess. Modern culture has bought into the lie that the good life is found in accumulating as many things as possible. They believe that more is better and have unintentionally subscribed to the notion that happiness can be bought at a department store. They are, however, incorrect. Accepting minimalism frees one from the all-consuming desire to possess. It deviates from the consumerism treadmill and dares to seek happiness elsewhere. It prioritizes relationships, experiences, and self-care. It allows us to appreciate what we already have and reminds us to be grateful. As a result, we have a more abundant life. It is freedom from modern mania. Our world moves at lightning speed. We are overly hurried, rushed, and stressed. We work long, passionate hours to pay the bills, but each day we fall deeper into debt. We rush from one activity to the next, even multitasking, but never seem to get anything done. We are always connected to others via our cell phones, but true life-changing relationships continue to elude us. Being a minimalist slows life down and liberates us from the modern hysteria to live faster. It allows you to disengage. It strives to keep only the necessities. It seeks to eliminate the frivolous while retaining the significant. It values deliberate endeavors that add value to life. It is freedom from duplicity. Although no one chooses it, most people live in duplicity. They have one life centered on their family, another centered on their co-workers, and yet another centered on their neighbors. The lifestyle they have chosen necessitates that they project a specific external image based on their circumstances. They are tossed and turned by the most recent advertising campaign or their employer's demands. A simple life, on the other hand, is unified and consistent. It has learned a way of life that is completely transferable regardless of the situation. Life is the same on Friday evening as it is on Sunday morning and Monday morning. It is consistent, dependable, and unchanging. It works in all situations. It is truthful and open. It is counter-cultural. Celebrities are idolized in our society. They are photographed for magazines, radio interviews, and television recordings. Many people look up to their lives as the gold standard and are envious of them. People who live simple lives are not as well represented in the media. They do not fit into the consumerist culture that corporations and politicians promote. Nonetheless, they lead an appealing and inviting life. While most people strive for success, glamour, and fame, minimalism speaks to us in a smaller, quieter, calmer voice. It encourages us to take our time, consume less, but enjoy more. And when we meet someone who lives a simpler life, we frequently realize that we have been chasing the wrong things all along. It is completely achievable. It is entirely possible to become a minimalist. Many people are living proof of this. They have embraced minimalist living and will never return to their previous way of life. They are living proof that simple living is entirely possible and unique for anyone who seeks it. Remember that less does not equal none. There are no specific rules for simple living and no one is forced to get rid of possessions that add value to their lives. Most minimalists keep some sentimental items, they just keep fewer than others. And, rather than storing our sentimental possessions in a storage unit or garage, we proudly display them in our own home. Now that you know what minimalism is, please feel free to share your thoughts on this story. Till next time, bon voyage.